Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to get world edit features for Minecraft Bedrock in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is go to your Minecraft launcher. This is how you launch both Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock and in today's video we'll be interested in the creator tools. So let me show you. Here. Once you have the Minecraft launcher opened, what you want to do is go to Minecraft Bedrock Edition and you'll see something called Creator Tool. So, all you have to do is click this tab and then you'll see this page. Now, once you're here, it is very simple. You just have to click Create and it will just open you in other version of Minecraft Bedrock. So, here we can see we have Minecraft Bedrock launching, but we also don't have Minecraft Bedrock launching. We can see that we have create new project instead of world. And that's because we will not be creating a new world. We will be creating a new project that acts like a world. And that you'll be able to import, export, and do a lot of things with. Just like a normal Minecraft world. So, for example, here we have create new project. And we do have this open in the Minecraft app. Even though it's not really Minecraft. So... Once you have this page, all you have to do is simply create new project and you can do creative or survival. This is really what's going to be the game mode when the actual world will be exported and imported into the real Minecraft version. So here we have project name, you just name it anything. And here you can choose survival or creative mode by default. If we just want to do a survival map, for example, you don't have to touch anything, you can change these as well, as well as advanced features as well. So, either way, once you have everything that you want, just do create, because most of the settings are inside this option. And there you go. You will have something like this, and if you want to move around, simply right-click, and you'll be able to fly around like if it was normal Minecraft. Just, if you stop right-clicking, your mic will show up. So that is pretty weird to get used to, but you will get used to after a while, and then you will be able to use normal Minecraft features. So yeah. So in this case, if we want to use this world, what can we do? Well, we need to use Minecraft Bedrock World Edits feature to actually show you how this works. And the way this works, it is very easy. Here we have a bunch of tools that we can use. And if we use tools like terrain, for example, we can make the terrain go up or down. It really depends. Here we can see that we are currently digging through the world. There's a lot of things you can do with this. And here, for example, we can have a brush, we can make a cube. And we can just paint blocks. If you want to paint all the types of blocks, it is just here. All you have to do is simply click a block, search for a block, and it will show you the current block you're currently using, grass, to a new block, you just search block of diamond, confirm, and now you'll now be painting with diamond blocks. So that's how this works. Also, Ctrl Z does exist, so if you do Ctrl Z, there you go. And it is per session. So if I do two of these, Ctrl Z. If I do a line, Ctrl Z. If I do one, two, three, four, Z, Z, Z. So that's how that works. You have undo here as well. And redo as well. So that's how we use world edit features for Minecraft Bedrock. If I create a little mountain like this of diamond blocks, we will be able to see this in our world. So let's just create a little block mountain. There you go. And now we have this thing. So, for example, you have done what you wanted for your world. What you do? Well, it is very easy. All you have to do is simply go to the file option and click it and click export. Now it'll tell you export type, playable world, and all you have to do here is simply do export. You of course have different settings you can change. This is the same settings that we had earlier, but if you want to change anything, you can check that out. But the main thing is just clicking export when you're done. And it'll take a couple of seconds to export. And there. So 
Exporting, you will not see it actually happen, but it did work. For example, once you click export and you actually heard the sound and wait a couple of seconds, you can now close the actual editor. So we can just close it. And now what do we do? Well, you can go to your Minecraft bedrock and actually try it out. So here we see we're in Minecraft bedrock. This is a different Minecraft bedrock. It's the same app, very confusing, I'm aware, but it is Minecraft bedrock either way. And what we can do here, we're gonna just go and play and we'll see our exported world right here. Now, before I play it, I'll just go to the edit button and show that you can actually export this as a normal world. And if I do this, you will be able to see your world in your downloads folder and send it to other people. So going back to this, we have our world right here. And if I click it, we will see the exact same thing. So let's try it out. You were in survival mode and I can see it already, but we have all of our diamond blocks that we have placed in our editor right here. So if I build a tiny bit, we can see that we have our diamond blocks. So yeah, it's that easy to use the editor. Of course, it's more refined. You can change the size of specific blocks and everything. But in the gist of it, this is how you get world edit for Minecraft Bedrock and how you export worlds using it. So yeah, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.